Liza, why are there so many Pop-Tarts on this table? Because, Justin, I'm convinced that you do not need to toast Pop-Tarts regardless of the flavor because they're good right out of the box. What the hell's wrong with you? Pop-Tarts are to be consumed right out of the box. You do not need to toast them. As a general rule? The rule. There's no, there's no general rule. What do you mean yeah. by general rule? Like, you're, you, like you basically you take them out of the box and you just, just eat them. Yes, you don't have to toast them. Ignore the instructions. They're not necessary. I think toasting actually alters the flavor of the Pop-Tart. And I think by eating them cold out of the box, it actually enhances the flavors a little bit better. Oh wait, so okay, so you're saying that, yeah, I because Pop-Tarts are are already cooked, right? They were they were yeah, cooked, fully cooked. What they're do you fully think? cooked. Yeah. But just because they're fully cooked doesn't mean you eat them raw. I mean, bacon is cured. Okay, raw is, is it? Actually, hot dog, what about hot dogs? Hot dogs come in a package, they're pre-packaged, they're already cooked. Would you eat a raw hot dog? That is a very annoying analogy you make. That is the exact same <laughs> it's thing! Not, it's not. This is a toaster pastry. You are talking about melded meat. So, uh, when it comes to Pop-Tarts, I will eat them either way. However, if I have the option, I will toast them, yes. It's, so toasting is always your preference if the option is yes. available. Now, let me ask you, do you think that it depends on flavor, or do you just do it for every single flavor? I feel like maybe the fruit ones would, might be okay or better not toasted, but the ones that are like sweet, like the rest of them, I think need to be toasted. Oh, I Or are better toasted at least. So let's ask you guys, do you toast your Pop-Tarts or do you eat them right out of the box? Even if you have a preference to do so, would you toast them or do you eat them out of the box? Little well, icon thing. We'll throw a little icon up here. But then for extra fun, let's throw in the comments. Does it depend on flavor? And if it depends on flavors, which ones have to be toasted and which ones you can definitely eat right out of the box? We are asking you a lot of questions today. A lot. We're looking forward questions. to your answers. We're actually going to have a Pop Tart challenge. This challenge is called To Toast or Not to Toast. That is the question. So we have six flavors of Pop Tarts. My favorite, which is the strawberry frosted. Uh, but if I'm in a special chocolatey mood, I like the s'mores as my backup. And we are going to take each flavor and toast one and then not toast the other one and see if there's actually a variation in flavor or niceness or bestness based on the cooking preparation. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and toast our first Pop-Tart. Which one should it be, Justin? Let's just start with the bad one first. <laughs> the blueberry one. All right, sounds good. All right, so while we have our unfrosted blueberry um, toasting in the toaster there, we have here uh, an, an, un, an untoasted, I, like, it just looks gross. I don't see why you think this looks so gross. I don't know. It looks like it's not cooked. But it's fully cooked, Justin. Tastes like a pop tart. I am not going to compare it to. No, 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 no. What is it? What do you? What? The crust of the pop tart. Everyone knows it's the worst part of the pop tart. No, it's not. It's the best part of the pop tart. Bull. The when you get like when you're down to like that little bit of of pop tart left, and it's like mainly crust and there's no filling anymore, it's terrible. Oh, oh, it's hot. Look at how burnt this is. See, this is why I don't toast the pop tart. What a waste of good. Crust. Why did you do with that, Dee? <laughs> I don't know. Was it not supposed to be burnt? I see. I don't toast them. I don't know how to cook them. I actually think that's not a bad color, no? I mean, this is, like, the edges shouldn't be that dark. <laughs> no. I don't like a toasted. I think it, like, enhances that artificial fruit flavor, which See, I didn't I didn't feel it as strongly. To me, it, was... it turns it into an actual pastry, which is what Pop-Tarts are supposed to be. They're supposed to be a quick pastry. And that little crunch from a crust... You just spit this up. No. The little crunch from the crust makes it so much better than this flimsy, like, loose thing. Like, there's a, there's a break to this. All right, unfrosted blueberry, should you toast it? But it's no. still terrible. It's just terrible. I say it's better. Don't even buy them, All but right. it's definitely better. Toast. All right, next one. I haven't had a s'mores pop tart in that long. I'm just remembering how good it was. 
<laughs> there's, there's no way this is not better toasted. And I've just been so used to eating them untoasted for the longest time um, that that's just what I'm used to. But I kind of feel like that gooey, marshmallowy, and chocolateness melted together, I think actually might make a difference in the toasting. It's hot! It's a hot pop top! Look at, look at the way that breaks apart. That's so good. <laughs> well, I still go for no toast on this one. I don't know. No 100% toast. It blends so much better in the mouth. All of the flavors come together in that perfect s'mores like. So, would you toast the s'mores? You, I can't believe you said no to that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that strawberry out here. <laughs> so this is strawberry frosted. See, this is the crap I don't like on my pop tarts. I don't like that like fingernail length of no frosting that so exists. Why don't some you write tarts. Kellogg's and let them know of their blasphemy? I love strawberry frosted. It's like my go-to pop tart. <laughs> oh no, nope. I'm a... I'm really I feel like this entire like show is just gonna be me saying us don't toast. Disagreeing. <laughs> but then again, this entire show is just us disagreeing. That looks a little weird coming out. Still gonna eat it, but it like protruded some sort of weird oil looking looking thing. Focus. <laughs> he said focus. See, that crunch is just so much nicer. No. Like it's no. not that doughy. It, it does it does make the strawberry taste a little worse though. So. Yeah. Do would you toast the frosted strawberry? We agreed on yeah. one! Nope. Yay! Even though like I I think Pop Tarts in general should be toasted. That made the strawberry filling nasty. But I mean, the crunch on the outside was nice. Like again, I have a thing with the texture of the uh, the dough, basically, of, of the pop tart when it's untoasted. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go with cinnamon roll. Oh, I think I burned my mouth on the strawberry. This is the one flavor that I think goes really well with that, like I said, doughy texture of. Not heating up? No. What? No? That's the exact opposite of what I've been saying. Oh. It has a doughy texture before it's heated. Oh, got it. The texture of this with the flavor works perfectly. I'm wondering what's going to happen when it's toasted. Ooh, this one was like protruding out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. Toasted cinnamon roll. Okay. I think I'm going to drill. Yeah. Ready? Toasted cinnamon roll. Would you toast it? I actually would toast this one. <laughs> I actually think no. it was so much better toasted. <laughs> no, see, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think that. I think the crunch took away from it a little bit. The sugar on top got like a, I don't know, like a, a plasticky aftertaste. You think so? I yeah. Think at all. Wow, I'm genuinely surprised we were able to change, change Liza's mind on anything. <laughs> Points, good points. Get that hot fudge in a Sunday. Ooh, these are uh, these are a chocolate pop tart uh, exterior. I'm assuming it's going to be some sort of fake cream on the inside or something. It's a chocolate pop tart shell, vanilla frosting. Oh, well, vanilla, some sort of frosting, some sprinkles. It's a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So. Wow, I am not six years old anymore. That I'm, is way too sweet. This is definitely, definitely appealing to the young ones. Palettes, oh God, um, for sure. But I do th <clears throat> feel like this chocolate crust would work a little bit better with some heat flip. Why do I need the gross side? Um, you put it there. I don't know. How about we just break up the next side then? That's oh, let's see how. Oh my gosh, the inside definitely gets super creamy. Wow, yeah, that on is this an one. entirely different internal structure. Yeah. <laughs> I feel oh, like none oh, of them got this level of creaminess in the inside. All right. I thought Pop Tarts were doughy before being toasted, but this is literally bending in half. I'm not sure I like this one either way. <laughs> I'm not sure I liked it untoasted, and I'm not sure I liked it toasted. If you had to choose, would you toast this or not toast this? Ready? It's a toast for me. I do think it was slightly a little bit better with the toasting. It's just not my cup of tea for flavors. Um, you know what though? Actually, I think I'm gonna change to toast because the sweetness wasn't as 
punch you in the face when you after you toasted it. it. And calm it down a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why you don't do that? Oh! Why would you open it from the bottom? You're just trying to annoy me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually really liked that untoasted. Um, it wasn't I bad. thought that the flavor of the frosting with the um, internal brown sugar really comes out very clearly when it's untoasted. In five, four, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for a magic moment. I just wanted to count down and have that the poster pop up. Magic moment. <laughs> right. Should you toast it? Three, two, one. <laughs> I actually agree with the masses. Definitely toast it much better for the brown sugar. Uh, I think one thing we can agree on is it does depend on the flavor for us, but Definitely. whether toasting or not toasting makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys let us know in the comments below. Why don't you do your own Pop-Tarts challenge and let us know what flavors you felt need to be toasted or not toasted. Oh, you got two balls. I gotta get the first one. We're gonna go the first one. Oh, 69. Oh, 69. Lunch! Brush your teeth, floss, and use mouthwash blindfolded. Three, two, one, go. Oh god, that's so much. Yeah. More spit, but I have nowhere to spit. Like spit in here. <laughs> Jamie's doing ew. Ah. This is a terrible, <laughs> terrible toothpaste commercial. <laughs> Different, man. Please don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I need this bit so I don't throw up by dinner. I have no idea where to put that. Oh, Jesus. Where's the... Where's the mouthwash? <laughs> Do you open. have it? If it's open, am I gonna spill it? Well, that was fun. I think. <clears throat> Done. <laughs> oh. Did I hit the plate? No, <laughs> I did. You're all over the place. No, I'm great. All right, guys, that was the challenge. <laughs> Tune in for the next one. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing with our lives anymore. <laughs>